And a woman is dead, another injured following a reported assault in the Browns Creek area this morning. A person of interest is in custody tonight on your sites. Eliza Powell is on Hexer Drive where this all happened. Eliza, what do we know at this hour? That's right, Anthony. Well, as you can see behind me, the crime scene unit vehicles are still out. They have been parked there all day, and now there's also been a police officer who's pretty much been manning guard at the front driveway and police officers in the backyard. And when police arrived first on scene, they found a woman dead, and another woman was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police contacted the homicide unit. We're working to get confirmation from police about how she died or if a weapon was used and what injuries the other woman sustained. Police say a man they're calling a person of interest has been taken into custody. He was detained by patrol at this time, so we have no one outstanding. Um, but we're working to, before we say he's a suspect, we can't confirm that until we do our interviews and do the initial investigation. A person in the home called 911 around 940 this morning. Police are still investigating if the battery was a domestic dispute. They say witnesses have also been detained for questioning. There were people in the home and we are working to speak with them. There was also people in the area we're also speaking with to determine those circumstances. We tried speaking with a couple at the Browns Creek Fish Camp located right down the road from the home. They said they weren't able to speak about the incident because they were involved with the police. Now, another neighbor that I had spoken to said that he heard a loud noise this morning and had noticed that the front gate to the home was smashed in. Now, as police continue to investigate the circumstances that led to this incident, they're asking anyone who knows any information to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting from Hexer Drive, Eliza Powell, First Coast News, on your side.